Hi lovelies, what's up? It's me, Phoenix Fire, and I am back with my love to brown of Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why they don't pay me to act. Um, so this is my tutorial. Just like I promised, I promised I would redo it and that it wouldn't take me too long to redo it. So, yeah, my, my battery threatened to go out again. It's actually threatening to go out right now. So this is just um, a quick introduction to the look. And I hope the tutorial is to your liking. And, um, yeah, I guess that's everything. I will see you at the next video. Hasta pasta. Hey, so, um, I have my makeup on. Well, I already did my brows. And the white you see is the Milk and Magnesia I use as primer. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is take my light neutral concealer and use that as a, to, like, mute out my eye color. Now what I'm going to do is take my Storm pencil and I'm using all of the same uh, products that I used last time. And I am going to fill in the area that I want my color to be. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the same lavender from last time and fill in that base. I never use concealer brushes for concealer. I always use them for eyeshadow. Who is it? What do you want? I don't know. That's not for you to play for. I'm recording, so go away. It's on the door downstairs. Go into the basement. That was my name. I know y'all probably think I'm mean. Mm. I forgot to spray my brush. <laughs> Same dark brown that I showed you before. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Very light, as light as a feather. Blend this up. And up. So really when I'm blending, I'm not really touching this area. That's too big. Let me just show you. Um no, 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 no. I'm not touching this area here. I'm only blending like from the middle up. I want to get a good fade. Um, and that like maroonish, mahogany-ish kind of color that I showed you last time. I'm going to put that right on top. Just so I could warm up that brown a little. Now if you want to not do both of these steps, 
what you could do is use the brown from Brazen because it's already like a mahogany-ish kind of brown. Like this brown is a rich brown, but it's like just a true brown. It doesn't really, it probably has like gold undertones and I want the brown to have more of a reddish. And so next, I'm going to use my big brush again. Make sure I wipe it off. And that pink color, it's really light pink. I'm going to take that and dust it. Just like so. I'm going to take my Holy Grail naked and use that as my ultimate highlight. for a second so that I can come back and do the rest of the work. And in the meantime, so I'm back. And in my absence, or in your absence, because I absolutely were, um, I did my foundation same way as I did it before. I wanted to show you how I do it to blend. Um, because I'm out of my holy grail. This is my holy grail. I think I mentioned it in another video. My HG. I am number 177. Well, I bought this in a long time. I'm probably a little bit lighter now. Because I haven't really been going outside. Um, oh, wait. I get darker in this time. I'm lighter in one time. Because this was just a wee bit dark to me. But, I don't know. It worked. I liked it. It was like perfect. It was like my perfect color. So, um, well, either it was your perfect color or it was too dark. I know that's what you're thinking. Um, but I don't have that anymore. So, I used my Soft Sable L'Oreal True Match. I don't know what I did with it. Um, and I used Caramel, um, Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. And this whole time I've had on this really thick lip gloss on my lips to kind of condition it. So, now I've done my foundation, I lined my eyes already, and in lining my eyes I realized that my tapes weren't in the same position on both eyes, but now what I'm going to do, that's okay, do, 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 do. I'm going to take Valiant, L'Oreal Hip um, Pigment 534, just like last time. And I'm going to let it dip it into my pigments just like that. And I'm going to sweep that under my eye. This is a really grapey color. I like this color. It's a weird kind of purple though for some reason. a little on the blue side. It's actually, it's almost like it's dual chrome. Like it's purple, but it's blue. It reflects blue. It's nice. And I'm going to take that all the way, all the way up. Now I'm going to go back to my mostly empty um, violet pigment by MAC. So empty. Look at my baby. See that? I could totally hold it upside down. Nothing's going to fall out of how empty it is. I really, really love this stuff. I've been so afraid to use it because I don't have any money to get me anymore. Somebody buy me something for my birthday. My birthday is not so much. 
if you're interested. Are you interested? Yeah. Can't see I didn't try. Alright, I'm gonna scoop up some of that and do it on my inner eye. 